Hello everyone, welcome to studygun.com. So today we are going to learn how we can use hyperlinks in latex documents. So for that, go on overleaf.com and go on your projects. And I have already created a document. This document will be provided to you guys in the description box with the name of initial document. So this document already contains all the sections that we are going to cover in this video tutorial so let's get started so the topic is setting up the section so for that first we have to write backslash table of contents in order to create table of contents for a document now we can see the table of contents for a document so to use hyperlinks we have to use a package called hyperref so we have to write backslash use package hyperref in order to use hyperlinks in a document now if we would recompile this document we can see that all the contents in our table have become links so if we, if we would click on any of this link then we get referred to the section so now let's go to go to the next topic that is hyperlink options. So hyperref can be customized to suit your needs. Options such as color links, link color and URL color allow you to change the appearance of the links. So what you have to do is create a hyper setup by simply writing backslash hyper setup and in hyper setup write color links equal to true which will allow you to color the links instead of the boxes and then link color equal to any color of your choice here we are setting it to blue color and now just recompile the code and you can see that all the internal links in our document are converted into blue color so there is another topic in the section uh, that is head link formatting so basically to hide all the links what we can do is uh, we can use the hide link formatting and how we can use it is in hyper setup just write hide links and just recompile the code and you can see that all the links are now hidden just click on the links and they are working but now you can't see the color of the link or any box around them the link are hidden now so next uh, let's go to the next topic now that is referencing a section so before that just we are again converting the links into the blue color instead of hiding them so the next topic is referencing a section so referencing a section in latex means creating a link or cross reference to an other part of the document. So here if you want to reference a section in another section, suppose if you are going to refer the section introduction uh, in the section referencing a section, what we have to do is use backslash hyperref and we need the label of the section and here the label for the section introduction is intro so we have to write the label here that is intro of the section that we are going to refer here and the name of the link that would be suppose introduction and we can write here click here for introduction and now if we will recompile the code we can see the link click here for introduction and if we click on introduction we are referred to the introduction section so the next topic is referencing an equation so in the same manner if you want to reference a equation what we have to do is we have to use the command backslash ref and again we need the label for the equation here the equation e equal to mc square has the label Einstein. 
So here what we have two writers, the label of the equation that is EQ Einstein and then simply we have to click on recompile and now we can see this one after the Einstein equation and if we click on this one we are referred to the Einstein equation that is e equal to mc square. So the next topic is referencing a page. Referencing a page. So when do we refer a page? So basically we refer sections in a document using the page number when the sections are long enough like they take two or three two or more pages. So we refer the sections with the page number and we can basically simply refer a bit pages using the command backslash page ref and in the curly braces just typing the label for the section suppose here we are labeling referring the section introduction and just recompile the code and you can see now the one here if you would click on it you would be referred to the introduction section of page number one so the next topic is external links so when we want to refer the content that is outside the document then we use the external links and we do it by the command that is backslash href and in the first curly braces we write the link of the content link of the website and in the second curly brace we write the name of the link and here we are to find more information on latex visit the latex project website so here we are adding the link for the latex project website that is so this is the link I'm just copying it down and just pasting it here and then writing the link name as latex project website and recompiling the code and I can see this link latex project website if I click on it I would be redirected to the latex project website and the last section is the cross linking sentences cross linking the sentences so in a latex document we can cross link sentences or words by using the two commands that are backslash hyper target and backslash hyperlink so first we need to label our sentence so let's go to the introduction section and basically create a new sentence by simply writing backslash hyper target and the the label for the sentence suppose here it is label and the sentence itself that is this is the targeted sentence and then we have to refer the sentence in the cross link sentences section and we can Re refer this sentence by writing the command backslash hyperlink and the label for the sentence that is label and the name of the link that is targeted sentence here and just recompile the code and we can see this targeted sentence and when we click on it we are basically referred to this sentence that is the this is the targeted sentence so this was all about using hyperlinks in a in a latex document these were all the functionalities like changing the color referencing a document referencing objects referencing equations and referencing sentences these all were the functionalities that are offered by the package hyperref and this was all about this tutorial thank you for watching the video hope to see you again